Yo, what up guys, your boy GFX Lab, and uh, I have a Photoshop tutorial for you guys. Um, a lot of people are asking like what GFX Lab stands for. GFX means graphics, and then so it's Graphics Lab. And I originally made my Photoshop, or my YouTube account to make Photoshop tutorials. And this is gonna be my first, depending on how this goes, I might make more in the future. And uh, we'll see. Right here I have, uh, basically I'm on my RMX Lab account, so this is all fresh. I have my theme set on gray so that way you know I can use these as reference points so let me save that out alright so I want to take a screenshot of this so by taking a screenshot I can use all these like little boxes as reference points and uh, and then we'll go into Photoshop so I'll hit alt and then print screen so that way I have a print screen of this one this top part and then I want to go down here a little bit and then take a print screen of this as well and then paste them both into Photoshop and uh, let me get this part first and then uh, once I print once I paste both of them into Photoshop uh, well, well actually let me let's go into Photoshop now alright guys now that we're in Photoshop go to file new and then you, make sure your preset is on clipboard with the width of you know whatever your screen size is mine is 1600 by 860 72 resolution RGB color mode and uh, your background color can be white hit OK and then uh, hit control V or you can go edit paste same thing so that way you have you know you have your screenshot in here and uh, I'm gonna get both screenshots in here and we'll come back yo what up guys your boy GFX lab and right here on the top is where uh, I have both of the, the graphics pasted in um, right here on the top right here at this edge is where you want the top of your graphic to be so I've already lined it up before, so I have it all lined up. Um, you want to press V to get your move tool, so you can move it around and move it up top. But don't, you know, hold shift so you, you um, hold shift so that it stays aligned um, right in the center. And then uh, on your bottom one, you're going to want to do the same thing. Uh, you don't really have to worry about, you know, you're moving around your bar or whatever, or all this little extra excess graphics, because we're just going to use this for reference. So I turned down mine to like like 30 around 30 or whatever the opacity to 30 and then when you move it around like make sure that you align this bottom or the, you know this bottom part with the the background so let me move that back and then I'll turn the opacity back up to 100 so now you have ba your basic layout of your channel and what you're going to do from here is you're going to uh, use this use this background as your reference point like I said take your shapes layer and uh, make sure that you box out all these things, you know, just making general shapes. And what I did, hold on, let me clear this layer. Uh, you, I'm going to use white. Double click on your layer style, or for your, your layer styles, click on stroke, and then uh, make it inside. I'm going to make it size 2. And then basically I'm going to go through and box out each and every one of these little areas that I want as my graph, you know, for my graphic backgrounds. I mean, just, you know, just so I can have the little areas pieced out. And I've already done that. So let me delete these. Or right, hold on. I've already done that here. So I already have all these already all boxed out. And uh, basically... This is how you get all your stuff, you know, all your stuff ready to make all your graphics from behind. Um, that's what she said. And so click on these two references. You can turn these off. Make sure your background's off. So now you have this. Now you have your general layout. Uh, one thing that people like to see um, is actually, let me show you uh, how to line this up. Because, you know, when you bring it in as a screenshot, it has the bars on the side. So it's not exactly in the center. So you want to select all your layers by holding shift and selecting all your layers. Hit control G. And it'll paste them all in a group. And you also, um, so now you have your all your stuff in a group. So click on your group and then uh, hold control down and click on your background. And use your, uh, have make sure you have your move tool activated by clicking on V. And then click on align center. So that way it aligns all this stuff to the center and that's where it's going to reference on YouTube. Um, so once you have all that lined up, you can now like do whatever you want to the background. Now you, you can, you know, add styles, I, I'll, you know, just do all kinds of things to this. And there's a lot of tutorials out there for, you know, what you can do with the background. Right now I'm just going to add, you know, a name or something. Let me see, RMX Lab. I'm just, uh... 
you know, just make just make a general <laughs> general name on the side, RMX Lab, and I'll have my background all set up. Um, another thing is if you guys want this to fade out like at the bottom, uh, click on your group and then click on add, add layer mask. It should pop up and click on your layer mask. Make sure this part is selected. Um, go over to your gradients tool. Make sure it's on from black to white. Hit OK. So since it goes from black to white, uh, go just a little bit above uh, the bottom here and then click. Uh, Hit con uh, hit shift down, and also uh, left click, and then drag this up to where you want, and then let go, and it should fade it out. So there you go. You have it off. You have your you know you have your first background. So save this out. Here's a pro tip: save this out as a PNG file, because for some reason Photoshop doesn't like JPEGs as much as it does PNGs. It's racist against JPEGs. So make sure you make this uh, whatever you want, RMX uh, L2, RMX L2, there you go. And I'll hit OK. And now it's saved. So I'm going to go into Photoshop, or I'm going to go back to YouTube, and uh, we'll start, we'll go again from there. All right, broskies, now we're back on YouTube. Um, when you go to your channel, it'll show all these little buttons up here. You want to click on Themes and Colors. You want to click on show advanced options and then you want to choose your file. So mine was rmxl2.png. Hit open and it should upload and paste it, um, you know, on your background. But uh, you'll need to turn on, turn your tra wrapper transparency to 100 and make your transparency to 100. So that way you have it all lined up. Of course, you're, you're not going to get everything perfect. Like uh, right here, I'm going to have to mess with this a little bit so I can move it over. And, you know, you'll have to you'll have to make some little tweaks in Photoshop before you get everything exactly right. But it should be pretty close. And, uh, you know, as you can see, like I said, it fades out. So you're going to have to change your background color to the background color that you have in Photoshop. So my background color is black. So I'm going to click on black, make it, you know, it's the... The hexadecimal code is zero, you know, six zeros. It's always six. So you, if you want to know what the background color is, and fo you, you'll have to go into Photoshop and use your eyedropper tool and figure out, you know, what this, what your background color is going to be. If you have a different, you know, something other than black, mine was pretty simple. Um, hit save on that, and now you have your background, and it's pretty simple. Um, for partner backgrounds, I will show that later if there's a demand for it but there's not a lot of partner guys out there and uh, if you guys want me to design you a background uh, send me $25 to my PayPal account which is gfxlab at yahoo.com and uh, send me a PM with all the you know all the color you know whatever color you want or whatever um, whatever design you want or what, what you want me to try and do and uh, I'll get you that within two days. You just have to make sure and send me a PM, and make and I'm gonna have to confirm that I have you know, I have the I have you paid in PayPal. Um, so aside from that, here's a quick you know just just a quick tutorial for you guys. I hope you guys, um, I hope this helps out some of you guys. Uh, peace out.